process, right? So we're, we're only, you know, we're pulling out certain, you know, natural molecules. And say like sugar cane was the plant has DNA, of course. And we're only pulling out the sugar carbohydrates. There's not going to be a whole lot of DNA in there. There could still be some traits in there, right? So yes, your food has DNA. Second question. So we've told you about the mechanisms um, by which genetic modification works. So do you think that eating food that has genetically modified DNA could result in your own DNA being genetically modified? So if I go eat some BT soybeans, Wouldn't it have to be like a radioactive iso, you know, like a, some sort of radioactive thing, maybe? I mean, I'm making two sci fi right now. In order for that to even be possible, just saying, in order for that to even be remotely possible, it would have to be some crazy mutant DNA strand eaten. Probably not in sugar. Yeah. So I think what you're, you're struggling with a little bit is, you know, how would that DNA, you know, that's in your, I don't know, uh, soy burger actually get into your, into your genome, right? There has to be a way for that DNA to get moved from the food into your genome, right? Well, I mean, like with bacteria, they do that with what they're eating in ways, so, and I mean, I know that we're having enzymes that are pulling stuff into the into our cells all the time. Uh -huh. I actually, this is actually the questions I've wondered about pretty much all semester. Not like in this way, but like how would you get DNA, like, I don't know, like is, is that possible? I okay. So the short, answer. short answer here is that no. So there's none of the mechanisms. So like you notice we use the gene gun, right? To get DNA into the plants, or we use this agrobacterium. So you're not eating DNA coated gold particles, right? Uh, you're not eating the agrobacterium. So that means the mechanism that moved the DNA in the first place isn't there. So there's a very, very, very slight chance that the DNA could no greater with genetically modified DNA than it is with regular DNA. Okay. How much of the DNA, when we eat it and we, it's um, broken down and have like in our stomach, how much of that DNA is able to stay integrated within our stomach? Yeah, so a lot of the food that we eat, the DNA is going to be pretty messed up, right? So the organism that was maintaining it died sometime before we ate it, possibly quite a while before we ate it. We probably cooked it, maybe put it in some you know, acid, we cooked it in a sauce. So DNA is probably gonna be pretty degraded by the time we eat it. Okay. So bottom line, you're not gonna get genetically modified unless you get genetically modified. What about eating something wrong? What's that? What about eating something wrong? Or functionally wrong? So in that case, the DNA wouldn't be degraded. Um, but you're still missing a mechanism for moving it into your cells and actually inserting it into your genome. All right, so why don't you guys take a, I'll say a five, 10 minute break.